Missile away. Mark, oh, not Barry. Dating back to the American Revolutionary War in 1775, the military submarine has been an iconic and irreplaceable part of the United States Navy. Popularly called the Silent Service, the United States submarines, in their more than 200 years of existence, have evolved from rudimentary underwater vessels designed to attach explosive charges to British warships into technologically advanced war machines capable of threatening any foreign adversary of the United States. All through the years, they have been used to spy on and carry out secret reconnaissance missions during different periods, including the Cold War and World War II. Want to know about these secret submarines and the missions they have gone on? Stay with us as we look at how these secret submarines shocked Hamas, Yemen, Russia, and China. Commissioned in 2005, USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23, is a modified Seawolf-class submarine named for the 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter, who happens to be the only president to have qualified on submarines. It is also one of the few vessels, as well as the third submarine of the U.S. Navy, to be named for a living person. The extensively modified vessel is the third and final Seawolf-class nuclear-powered fast-attack submarine in the United States Navy. In fact, the vessel has been so heavily modified that it is sometimes described as a subclass of its own. The vessel has a length of approximately 453 feet, a beam of 40 feet, and a draft of 36 feet. The attack submarine is powered by a 1S6 WPWR arc reactor that provides about 220 MW, or 300,000 GP. It is also equipped with one secondary propulsion submerged motor, two steam turbines that produce about 57,000 HAP, which is about 43 MW, one shaft, and a single pump jet propeller. Combined, these systems provide the SSN-23 with speeds of up to 40 knots or 46 MPTH. Costing more than $880 million, the SSN-23 is one of the most advanced Seawolf-class submarines in the United States arsenal, as it was tailored for enhanced covert operations with some of its modified designs, including specific modifications that elevate its capabilities for covert missions and intelligence gathering. One of such design is the submarine's multi-mission platform, MMP, which incorporates cutting-edge intelligence gathering equipment and, as such, allows for the SSN-23's advanced reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities. See, the USS Jimmy Carter was modified with an extended hull, which measures around 100 feet in length, beyond the standard Seawolf-class design. This modification, known as the Multi-Mission Platform, MMP, provides much-needed additional space and capabilities that enhance the submarine's versatility for various covert missions. However, it doesn't stop there, as the extended section of the hull offers opportunities for deploying and retrieving specialized payloads, which enables the submarine to conduct extremely precise clandestine missions, undersea research, or even potentially tap undersea cables, depending on the strategic objectives of its mission. Besides this, the SSN-23 is equipped with advanced sensor technologies, such as improved sonar arrays and sophisticated surveillance systems, which allow for precise data collection and comprehensive situational awareness during covert operations. It is also equipped with advanced noise reduction technologies, as beyond the standard acoustic reduction measures common to submarines, the USS Jimmy Carter incorporates additional features aimed at minimizing acoustic signatures, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. Another one of the vessel's significant upgrades is its modular and reconfigurable spaces. This is thanks to the additional space the MMP provides, which offers flexibility for various mission-specific configurations or the accommodation of specialized equipment, enabling the submarine to adapt to diverse operational requirements. However, beyond its stealth capabilities and fancy intelligence technology, the SSN-23 is an attack submarine, meaning the submarine is not to be messed with when it comes down to fighting. Equipped with specialized command and control systems tailored for coordinating covert missions and executing intelligence gathering operations with precision and secrecy, the submarine is armed with 8x26.5 inch torpedo tubes, sleeved for 21 inch weapons, and has the ability to carry up to 50 Tomahawk land attack missiles, anti ship missiles, and MK 48 guided torpedoes. With 15 officers and 126 enlisted crew, the vessel's motto is Semper Optima which means always the best in English. And boy, does it stick to its motto as the vessel, the USS Enhanced Stealth, Extended Range, 
and an arsenal of torpedoes and cruise missiles enable it to conduct precision strikes against any target while completely remaining undetected. And to make things more scary, being a nuclear-powered submarine, the USS Jimmy Carter has extended operational endurance without ever needing to refuel. And so, like other nuclear submarines, it can potentially sail around the world and engage and neutralize enemy submarines, surface ships, or land-based targets with precision strikes, causing substantial damage or destruction for around 25 years before ever requiring nuclear refueling. The USS Jimmy Carter is also manned by a crew that comprises highly skilled officers and enlisted personnel who are beyond proficient in operating sophisticated systems and conducting covert operations. Although its missions are obviously classified, the USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23, in April and September 2017, returned twice to her home port at Naval Base Kitsap Bangor from NSB New London, flying a Jolly Roger flag, which traditionally indicates a vessel returning from a successful mission. In 2013, the ship also received the Presidential Unit Citation, which is basically the equivalent of the Navy Cross for the entire ship for what has been reported as Mission 7. All in all, the USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23, is a nightmare to any enemy of the United States, one that they would never see coming until it was too late. While designed to serve as a nuclear deterrent, the next submarine group is the Vanguard-class boats that are equipped with 421-inch, 533 men on them, torpedo tubes, and can carry up to 16 Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes, which can be guided by copper wire or by autonomous active or passive sonar. The Spearfish's attack range increases to almost 30 miles at low speed, and it may reach up to 14 miles at full speed. The boats may conduct anti-submarine warfare, ASW, and anti-surface warfare, ASU, with the help of the torpedoes, which have the capacity to discharge explosive charges weighing 660 pounds. The Royal Navy refers to the equipment on the boats as world-beating sonar, and it is said to be so sensitive that it can hear vessels that are more than 50 miles away that can help ensure that the Vanguard class can live up to its moniker and remain the foremost part of an advancing naval force. The Royal Navy's four Vanguard class nuclear-powered submarines, specifically designed as ballistic missile submarines, currently form the United Kingdom's Strategic Nuclear Deterrent Force. Each of the boats is armed with Trident 2D5 nuclear missiles. The Vanguard class, which is the third largest combat vessel in use by the Royal Navy, is still the largest submarine type ever built in the United Kingdom. Measuring close to 150 meters in length and weighing over 16,000 metric tons, the displacement of the submarines is double that of the Resolution-class Polaris submarines. The larger submarines were required to carry the Trident D-5 missile. The 24-tube arrangement used on the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class Trident submarines served as the model for the 16-tube missile compartment on the new Trident submarines. The Trident nuclear missiles can be fired at targets up to 4,000 miles away, and their maximum speed travels at more than 13,000 miles an hour. In addition, the Vanguard class was built with a number of noteworthy enhancements, such as a redesigned nuclear propulsion system and a new tactical weapon system for self-defense objectives both prior to and following a missile launch. For attack purposes, the Vanguard class submarines are equipped with 16 ballistic missile tubes. However, as of the 2010 Strategic Defense and Security Review, the Royal Navy loads only eight of the missile tubes with the Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles, each armed with up to eight nuclear warheads. The Trident II missile can carry up to 12 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, but the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty 1, START 1 agreements limit this to eight. 192 nuclear warheads can be carried by the Vanguard submarine. However, at first the Royal Navy was not permitted to carry more than 96 missiles on board. During the Strategic Defense Review, this amount was further lowered to 48 missiles. A maximum of four warheads can be carried by each D-5 missile for the Vanguard class, and in 1999 it was revealed that each ship could carry up to 48 warheads. From 200 to 160 Trident missiles, the Royal Navy now possesses fewer missiles. The Trident II is a three-stage solid propellant missile with supersonic speed. The weight is 59,000 kilograms. The United States Navy gives the range of the D-5 missile as greater than 7,360 kilometers, but this could be up to 12,000 kilometers, depending on the payload mix. Each of the four boats in this class is capable of deploying with a maximum of 192 independently targetable warheads or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs. 
with immediate readiness to fire. However, as a result of a decision taken by the 1998 Strategic Defense Review, this was reduced to 48 warheads with a readiness to fire reduced to days rather than minutes. However, on March 16, 2021, Prime Minister Boris Johnson unveiled his government's 10-year plan to boost international trade and deploy soft power around the world with the aspiration of creating a global Britain. This plan increased to 260 nuclear weapons, the maximum number that may be carried by Royal Navy Trident submarines from 180, as stated in a document titled Global Britain in a Competitive Age. The agreement also promised to keep four nuclear-armed submarines in the fleet, ensuring that Britain would always have one in the ocean. Just like the Astute class, the Vanguard-class submarine's main nuclear-powered propulsion system is also based on the second-generation Rolls-Royce PWR-2. This essentially doubles how long each submarine can go around the world before refueling. Furthermore, a Core-H reactor is fitted to each of the boats, ensuring that none of the submarines will require further refueling for the rest of their service lives. Also, the reactor drives two General Electric Company GEC, steam turbines linked to a single shaft pump jet propulsor, giving the submarines a maximum submerged speed of over 25 knots. Auxiliary power is provided by a pair of 6-megawatt MW steam turbine generators supplied by W.H. Allen and two 905-kilowatt KW Paxman diesel generators for the provision of backup power supply. While specific measures put in place by the Royal Navy to protect these submarines and their patrol routes and schedules are highly classified, certain pointers can be observed. Due to the nature of these submarines as a nuclear deterrent, certain features like acoustic masking and stealthy design have been treated as major by the Royal Navy. Special underwater systems emit noise curtains to mask the submarine's movements from enemy sonar detection, just as advanced hull materials and propulsion systems are used to minimize noise and vibrations, making them harder to track. These submarines also operate from the deeply protected Clyde Naval Base in Scotland, which is a highly secure base with restricted access and layered security measures like high walls, cameras, and patrols. Emerging from the shadowy realm of the Vanguard class, our journey takes us to the Trafalgar class, where the echoes of the Cold War merge with modern advancements. The story deepens, so keep watching. When it comes to submarines, nothing is more important than stealth. From sailing quietly deep into enemy territory to operating for months on end undetected by modern detection technology, a submarine's ability to be hidden is perhaps its greatest strength, and of the world's submarines, no one does it quite like the USS Seawolf, SSN-21. Commissioned on July 19, 1997, this nuclear-powered fast-attack submarine is the fourth submarine of the United States Navy named for the Seawolf. Named after an infamous solitary fish with solid and powerful teeth that give it a savage look, the USS Seawolf, SSN-21, is the lead ship of her class. Sailing at a length of about 353 feet, the submarine has a beam of 40 feet and a draft of 36 feet. With the motto, Cave Lupum, which means, Beware the Wolf, this monster of a vessel is equipped with one S6 WPWR nuclear reactor that can produce about 220 MBW or 300,000 GP. It is also equipped with one secondary propulsion submerged motor, two steam turbines that produce about 57,000 GP or 43 MW, one shaft, and one pump jet propeller. With all this power, the SSN-21 can travel at speeds of about 25 plus knots when submerged and 18 plus knots on the surface. However, the SSN-21 is not just fast, it's also extremely powerful, as it's equipped with 8x26.5 inch torpedo tubes sleeved for 21 inch weapons, and can carry up to 50 Tomahawk land attack missiles as well as anti-ship missiles and MK-48 guided torpedoes. However, the most interesting thing about this vehicle is when it was built. The SSN-21 was constructed at the height of the Cold War between the United States and Russia. It was built to be the most efficient and effective stealth vessel, allowing the United States to infiltrate the Russians and attack at a moment's notice. However, although initially built during the late Cold War era, the USS Seawolf and its class continued to maintain relevance and technological superiority even today, as the vessel is still in active service. Despite being commissioned in the late 1990s, the ship has advanced capabilities and has undergone multiple upgrades to ensure its effectiveness in contemporary naval operations. One of the significant hallmarks of the Seawolf class is its exceptional speed and deeper diving capability. 
This submarine was engineered to maneuver swiftly through the ocean, allowing for rapid deployment and evasion with the ability to dive to depths of more than 800 feet. Their ability to reach greater depths affords the 120-plus crew many strategic advantages in stealth and tactical operations, making them elusive and challenging to detect. Besides their incredible diving abilities, the Seawolf-class submarines are renowned for their remarkably reduced acoustic signature. This singular feature has established them as some of the quietest submarines ever built, which is pivotal in evading detection, maintaining secrecy, and enhancing their capability to operate undetected in hostile environments. Besides being extremely quiet and stealthy, the SSN-21 is also a ferocious combat vessel. This is because at the core of the SSN-21 submarines lies the ANBSY-2 combat system, which is a state-of-the-art technology introduced during its inception. This combat system integrates sensor data, navigation, and weapons control, providing extraordinarily deadly and unparalleled situational awareness that enables the vessel to perform precise targeting for offensive and defensive operations. Thanks to this system and the vessel's versatile weaponry, the SSN-21 and its 120-plus crew can carry out highly stealthy strikes, anti-submarine warfare, and even deterrence missions, as its presence alone strikes fear in the hearts of its enemies. The SSN-21 is known to undergo rigorous training to operate and maintain sophisticated systems aboard the super vessel. This training not only showcases the vessel's expertise in managing cutting-edge technologies, but also its proficiency in executing diverse mission objectives. Sadly, the specific operational details of the USS Seawolf, SSN-21, are very classified and not publicly disclosed because of the sensitive nature of its missions and national security concerns. However, it is public knowledge that in July 2020, the Seawolf will be deployed into the Arctic Area of Responsibility, which happens to be a geographic region within the Arctic Circle that encompasses the Arctic Ocean and the surrounding territories of various nations, including parts of Canada, Greenland, Norway, Russia, and even the United States. The vessel conducted special operations and pulled into multiple European ports, which included HMNB Clyde in Faslane, Scotland, and Gibraltar. It also briefly docked in Tromso, Norway. The Seawolf also happened to be the first U.S. Navy deployment during the coronavirus pandemic. Although specific details about the SSN-21 past missions may not be publicly available, the USS Seawolf SSN-21 has most likely contributed significantly to various strategic objectives. It is easy to say with certainty that no one wants to stand against the silent American predator that is the USS Seawolf SSN-21. Most submarines are shrouded in mystery, however. Did you know there is a U.S. submarine so elusive? The only time people have ever seen it come home is with a Jolly Roger on its head? Trust me, you're going to want to hear about this one. When it comes to military deterrence, a majority of the Navy's maritime operations and power come from the physical presence of powerful and dangerous sea vessels. However, this is not always the case, as sometimes the very plan for a sea vessel is enough to strike fear into the hearts of everyone. Such is the case of the USS Columbia, SSBN-826. This yet-to-be-commissioned U.S. submarine is proposed to be the lead boat of the United States Navy's Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines and the Navy's first vessel to be named for the District of Columbia. The vessel is planned to succeed the Ohio-class SSBNs, marking a significant advancement in the United States submarine capabilities. With a set length of 560 feet and a beam of 43 feet, the USS Columbia, SSBN-826, is anticipated to be the most advanced submarine the United States Navy would have in its arsenal. To start things off, the Columbia class is expected to assume a pivotal role within the nuclear triad, as it would serve as a stealthy and secure second strike platform. This is because each submarine, beginning with the District of Columbia, will have 16 missile tubes, each carrying one D-5 Trident II missile. As such, this strategic position ensures a credible deterrent against adversaries by guaranteeing an assured and quick retaliation in the event of a nuclear attack. The submarine missile launch tubes are expected to be the same size as those of the Ohio class, with a diameter of 87 inches and sufficient height to accommodate a D-5 Trident II missile. They would be powered by three solid-fuel rocket motors. The three-stage missile is expected to carry up to 14 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles with W-88 or W-76 thermonuclear warheads to a distance of about 12,000 kilometers, 
The SSBN would also have fewer launch tubes than the Ohio-class submarine. However, the SSBN is expected to have a submerged displacement about the same as that of Ohio-class submarines, which is about 21,140 tons when submerged. However, that's not all because the core of this nuclear-powered submarine is designed to last as long as the submarine is in service, which means it would altogether avoid the need for nuclear refueling during the vessel's active service life. This is especially impressive when you consider that the USS Columbia, SSBN 826, is expected to have a 42-year service life, including a shocking 124 deterrent patrols. This innovation eliminates the need for mid-service refueling, so it would significantly extend the submarine's operational lifespan and reduce the logistical requirements, thereby enhancing mission readiness and strategic availability. Embracing the future, the submarine's design integrates an electric drive propulsion system, which is quite different and superior to the usual traditional mechanical drive systems. The electric drive propulsion system onboard the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines will include an electric motor driving the boat's propeller. This was chosen because it is expected to be quieter than a mechanical drive system. The submarine will use a nuclear reactor to generate energy, which will then be converted into electrical power to fuel the electric propulsion motor. The propulsion system is expected to enable the submarine to sail at a speed of more than 20 knots and operate at a depth of about 800 feet. This innovation is expected to enhance efficiency, reduce noise, and even offer greater flexibility in power management, contributing to increased stealth and endurance. While on the topic of stealth, the Columbia class is expected to come with enhanced stealth features, allowing for reduced acoustic signatures and even improved survivability in a variety of operational environments. These enhancements were made to significantly improve the submarine's ability to operate clandestinely and remain undetected, ensuring its effectiveness as a strategic deterrent. The submarine would also be equipped with an enlarged version of the Virginia-class LAB sonar. It is also rumored to be equipped with a Submarine Warfare Federated Tactical System, SWIFTS, which is a cluster of systems that integrate sonar, optical imaging, weapons control, and so much more. To improve stealth, the horseshoe-shaped lab sonar is made of a unique composite material expected to enhance acoustic signal transfer, making the vessel much more silent. The vessel and its program are estimated to cost more than $15 billion, with the total life cycle cost of the entire class being estimated at $347 billion. The USS Columbia SSBN 826 construction has already commenced with plans for commissioning already slated for the 2030S. All 12 submarines are expected to be completed by 2042 and remain in service until 2085. Although not yet complete, the USS Columbia, SSBN 826, is expected to be the most extraordinary submarine in the history of humanity. From cutting-edge technology to an arsenal of deadly weapons operated by 155 of the best-trained crews in the world, the USS Columbia, SSBN 826, stands as the ultimate naval vessel and the future of deterrence and peace in the world. In 1977, with the Cold War in full swing, the United Kingdom's Royal Navy's nuclear-powered attack submarine HMS Swiftsure S-126 slipped right into the heart of a large-scale Soviet Northern Fleet exercise in the Barents Sea. Under the cover of escort screens of frigates and destroyers, the British submarine made its way carefully toward the Russian aircraft carrier Kiev. The submarine captured amazing underwater periscope photos of the Soviet carrier's hull and propellers, in addition to recording incredibly valuable acoustic signatures. As an example of a perfect covert operation, the Soviet Navy had absolutely no idea about the presence of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO attack submarine and the amount of valuable data it was able to collect. This was a perfect example of the technological prowess of the Swiftsure-class submarines at this point. As a response from the Royal Navy to the growing threat of nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed Soviet submarines routinely operating in the Atlantic Ocean, it was a highly technologically advanced submarine class. To counter these threats from the Soviet Union, the Swiftsure included improvements based on the lessons learned from previous all-British-designed classes allowing for deeper diving, higher speeds, and lower radiated noise. Powered by a single pressurized water reactor, PWR Mech A1 nuclear reactor, and an auxiliary Paxman Ventura diesel generator, submarines of this class were armed with five 533 mm torpedo tubes capable of launching Mark 24 Mod 2 Tigerfish and later Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes, as well as Stonefish Sea Urchin naval mines. UGM 84 
Harpoon anti-ship missiles and UGM-109E Tomahawk land attack missile, TLAM-E Block of Four, were subsequently added to the armory. The previous British Valiant and Churchill classes of nuclear-powered attack submarines, SSNs, had included raft-mounted machinery to isolate mechanical and electrical sources of noise and vibrations from the hull and reduce the overall radiated noise of the submarine. Another exotic feature of the class was the introduction of pump jet propulsion. This type of propulsion, which was relatively new and innovative back then, but is now common across almost all new submarine classes, offers several advantages over the standard propeller in many naval combat scenarios. The benefits include quieter propulsion at the same speed as opposed to a standard propeller, plus increased efficiency in some areas of the submarine's performance envelope. In total, six Swiftsure-class submarines were built. HMS Swiftsure, S-126, HMS Sovereign, S-108, HMS Superb, S-109, HMS Scepter, S-104, HMS Spartan, S-105, and HMS Splendid, S-106. Swiftsure was commissioned in 1973 and Scepter, the last boat of the class in service, was decommissioned in 2010. The encounter between the HMS Swiftsure, S-126, and the Russian aircraft carrier Kiev was a template for every other submarine class that would later be commissioned by the Royal Navy. It was the poster child for the achievement of a seamless integration of the attack and defense systems of a submarine. This was why, when the United Kingdom learned of the Soviet surface ship's exercises, the Swiftsure submarine was ordered to record Kiev's acoustic signature and to collect other intelligence. Swiftsure was instructed by the captain to approach Kiev cautiously and gently from the astern, concealing in its enormous wake and making the most of the carrier's sonar sensor's blind area. The captain of Swiftsure was very cautious in his approach, keeping the sub moving at the same speed as the carrier while avoiding detection by Kiev and its formidable escorts. Coming within such proximity to the enemy's massive carrier called for exceptional composure, synchronization, and the full concentration of every individual on board the swift shore. After spending hours concealed in the depths, meticulously adjusting its position in relation to the carrier positioned above, swift shore initiated a gradual ascent, elevating its periscope to oversee the maneuver. At last, the crew could observe the carrier's enormous propellers stirring the water. The periscope was now mere feet from the ocean's surface and only a short distance of 10-12 feet from Kiev's hull. The approach phase took several exhausting hours and had to be carried out without a mistake. The discovery of a Royal Navy submarine in such close proximity to a Soviet capital ship would most certainly trigger a major incident. Swiftsure, however, remained undetected and began recording the acoustic data. Apart from this intel, the sub was also able to take close-up photographs of Kiev's hull shape, rudder, and propellers, invaluable pieces of data enabling the Royal Navy and Western experts to better analyze the performance of the carrier. After all the important recordings and photos were collected, Swiftsure began to slowly sink back into the depths, leaving the Northern Fleet's capital ship and its feared escorts unaware that they had just been masterfully and covertly spied upon. After exploring the innovative realm of the Swiftsure class, we next delve into the historical saga of the Wee Wee 2 X craft. Prepare to uncover the extraordinary missions of these compact yet formidable vessels. Stay tuned for a captivating dive into naval history. Preceding the astute class submarines are the Trafalgar class submarines, which were nuclear powered attack submarines that were in service with the Royal Navy during the Cold War era. Although the Trafalgar-class submarines had seven submarines commissioned between 1983 and 1991, only the HMS Triumph, S-93, remains in service, with the last submarine retired in 2017. The design of the Trafalgar-class is identical to that of the Swiftsure-class submarine, which was its immediate predecessor. The hull of the Trafalgar-class is covered with anechoic tiles to absorb the sound waves of sonar, making the submarine more difficult to detect by active sonar. The Trafalgar class was earlier equipped with a submarine command system, SMCS, developed by BAE Systems Integrated System Technologies, Insight. However, the SMCS was replaced with a new submarine command system next generation, SMCS-NG, in December 2008. The system is designed to handle large volumes of information and control underwater weapons. The information received from the sensors is then processed and displayed as real-time images on the command consoles. The Trafalgar-class submarine is armed with Raytheon Tomahawk Block 4 land-attack cruise missiles, TLAM. 
The missile is fired from 533mm torpedo tubes, the Tamaha. UK missile has a range of up to 1,600 kilometers and a maximum speed of 550 miles per hour. It is equipped with a two-way satellite data link that enables the reprogramming of the missile according to varied battle conditions. The Trafalgar class also comes with homing torpedoes to attack submarines and surface vessels within a 15-kilometer range. It is equipped with five 533mm torpedo tubes that are capable of firing spearfish torpedoes and missiles. The tubes can carry a total of 30 torpedoes and missiles. The Spearfish from BAE Systems is a wire-guided heavyweight torpedo with an active or passive terminal homing sonar. It has a range of 65 kilometers at a speed of 60 knots. Unlike the last two submarine classes, the Trafalgar-class submarines come with the Rolls-Royce PWR, one pressurized water-cooled nuclear reactor, which is an older model compared to those on the Astute or Vanguard class. The Trafalgar class is also equipped with two WH Allen turbo generators, two Paxman diesel alternators, an emergency drive motor, and an auxiliary retractable propeller. The propulsion system provides a maximum speed of 30 knots. Over the past years, submarines of this class have operated in a wide range of locations, most notably during conflicts in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya, where they fired Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles at their targets with fury. Three of her Trafalgar-class boats have been involved in such operations. During the attacks on Al-Qaeda and Taliban forces in the United States following 9-11, Trafalgar was the first Royal Navy submarine to deploy Tomahawk cruise missiles into Afghanistan as part of Operation Veritas in 2001. Following the Iraq invasion, HMS Turbulent fired 30 Tomahawk cruise missiles before sailing home aboard Jolly Roger in April 2003. Also, as part of the military intervention in Libya in 2011, Triumph launched three Tomahawk cruise missiles, first on March 19th, then again on March 20th, and finally on March 24th. Her main targets were the Libyan air defenses around the city of Saba. Triumph returned to Devonport on April 3, 2011, flying a Jolly Roger decked out with six small Tomahawk axes to show the missiles fired by the submarine during the operation. Although originally designed as Cold War warriors, the Trafalgar-class attack submarines have been adapted for the demands of the 21st century. With an initial focus on hunting out and destroying enemy submarines and surface ships, the Trafalgar class has gradually been adapted to perform other roles, including covert surveillance and inshore reconnaissance. The last and only functional of these submarines, HMS Triumph, carries an impressive arsenal to quell any threat. Tomahawk cruise missiles can pick off targets from a range of up to 1,000 miles, and local surface targets can be dealt with by the onboard Spearfish and Harpoon missiles. Also, the hull of the Trafalgar class submarines is covered with anechoic tiles to absorb sonar sound waves making them difficult to detect. They are also equipped with strengthened fins and retractable hydroplanes that allow them to sail through thick ice and can stay at sea unsupported for up to three months as they go on surveillance missions. Steering away from the versatile Trafalgar class, our next dive takes us to the groundbreaking Swiftsure class, where innovation meets the ocean. Stay tuned for what lies beneath. The Yasin class submarines designated as Project 885 Yasin and Project 885 M Yasin M and known to NATO as the Severodvinsk class represent a significant leap in Russian naval technology. These nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines, a Malachite Marine Engineering Bureau product built by Savmash, are Russia's formidable answer to modern warfare. The inception of their design dates back to the 1980s, a time of intense Cold War rivalry. However, the first submarine was only commissioned in 2013, a testament to a project marred by financial constraints and delayed timelines. Yasin class's design philosophy combines the strengths of its predecessors, the Akula and Alpha class designs. It is envisioned to replace the Soviet-era nuclear attack submarines with a more versatile and powerful platform. Unlike the Akula class, which was optimized for a hunter-killer role, the Yasen class has expanded its role to function as a nuclear-guided missile submarine, SSGN, showcasing a strategic shift in Russian naval capabilities. The construction of the first Yasen class submarine, Severodvinsk, began on December 21, 1993. Initially slated for a launch in 1995 and commissioning in 1998, the project faced numerous setbacks. By the late 1990s, reports indicated that the submarine was less than 10% complete. However, a revival in funding in the early 2000s accelerated the completion of Severodvinsk. 
eventually leading to its handover to the Russian Navy in December 2013 and its formal introduction in June 2014. One of the remarkable features of the Yasin class is its mixed armament capabilities. It is presumed to be armed with various missiles including land attack crews, anti-ship and anti-submarine rockets like the P-800 Onyx SLCM and the Kaliber family SLCM. A potential future upgrade could include the hypersonic 3M22 Zircon cruise missiles, with the ability to carry 32 Kaliber or 24 Onyx cruise missiles and equipped with 10 533mm torpedo tubes, the Yasin class is a formidable force capable of multi-dimensional warfare. The Yasin class also boasts significant advancements in stealth technology. It is the first Russian submarine class equipped with a spherical sonar, the MGK-600 Irdish Amphora, providing enhanced detection capabilities. The hull, constructed from low magnetic steel and potentially covered with sound absorbent materials, significantly reduces the risk of detection by magnetic and acoustic means. This design evolution indicates a keen focus on stealth, a crucial aspect of modern submarine warfare. In terms of propulsion, the Yasin class represents another leap forward. These submarines are equipped with a fourth generation nuclear reactor, providing a long operational lifespan and the capability for high-speed deep water operations. The reactor's design, emphasizing natural water circulation, enables the submarine to operate quietly, a critical factor in evading detection. The operational capabilities of the Yasen class were highlighted in several instances, notably when Severodvinsk reportedly evaded detection in the Atlantic Ocean for weeks during its maiden deployment in 2018. This feat underscored the class's stealth and operational prowess causing concern among North Atlantic Treaty Organization NAT0, naval forces. The deployment of these submarines in strategic locations such as the North Atlantic has been perceived by Russia as a show of strength and technological sophistication, marking a significant shift in undersea warfare dynamics post-Cold War. The Yasen class's development and deployment illustrate Russia's strategic response to modern naval challenges, marking a notable transition from its Soviet-era predecessors. With advanced armaments, stealth capabilities, and nuclear propulsion, the Yasin-class submarines embody Russia's maritime military prowess and signal a new era in global submarine warfare. The Yasin-class submarines, conceived by the innovative minds at the Malakit Marine Engineering Bureau, represent a pivotal evolution in Russian naval capabilities. Conceived in the late 1950s, the Malakit Bureau, a fusion of Special Design Bureau 143, SKB 143, and Central Design Bureau 16, TSKB 16, embarked on a journey shrouded in secrecy and marked by formidable challenges. The Yasen project, initiated in 1977, was a bold endeavor mired in financial difficulties, with the lead submarine, Severodvinsk, facing critical delays. In 2003, a resurgence of funding revitalized the Yasen-class submarine program, overcoming the prioritization of the Borai-class ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs. Severodvinsk's delayed completion exemplified the complexities of balancing fiscal constraints with cutting-edge technology. The U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence's 2009 accolade, recognizing Yasen-class as the quietest among Russian and Chinese nuclear submarines, signaled a technological triumph for Russia. Severodvinsk's elusive 2018 Atlantic deployment demonstrated the stealth capabilities defining this class, reinforcing its status as a maritime enigma. The unfolding narrative shifted to a Cold War-esque tableau in the North Atlantic, with the commissioning of Kazan, the second Yasin-class submarine, in 2018. Armed with 40 Kaliber cruise missiles and escorted by Akula-class submarines, Kazan's presence in the North Atlantic marked a strategic flexing of Russian naval muscle. The British Navy, employing astute class and Trafalgar hunter-killer submarines, engaged in a tense pursuit to monitor these Kremlin assets. This intricate dance of espionage and counter-espionage underscored modern maritime warfare's heightened surveillance and strategic posturing. As the tale of the Yasen class unveils a new chapter in submarine technology and geopolitical maneuvering, one can't help but wonder, what secrets and strategies lie beneath the waves of China's Type 094A Jin-class submarines? When it comes to military prowess, very little is quite as scary and unnerving as having the United States Navy SEALs go after you. However, the USS Ohio SSGN-726 submarine takes the cake, as this vessel is not only a dangerous submarine but also carries extremely dangerous people. 
Commissioned on November 11, 1981 and named after the state of Ohio, the USS Ohio SSGN-726 is a nuclear-powered fleet ballistic missile submarine SSBN. The submarine, known for its high-tech advancement and absolute maneuverability, is the lead boat of her class and the fourth vessel of the United States Navy to be named for the U.S. state of Ohio. This formidable vessel initially entered service with the hull designation of SSBN-726. However, the vessel was transformed into a guided missile submarine, and as such it was redesignated as SSGN-726. The SSGN-726 is equipped with a S-8 GPWR nuclear reactor. It is also equipped with two geared turbines, one 325 GP or 242 kilowatts auxiliary motor, and one 60,000 GP or 45,000 kilowatts shaft. Combined, these provide the vessel with speeds of about 12 knots or 14 miles per hour when surfaced and more than 20 knots or 23 miles per hour when submerged. The ship has a length of 560 feet and a beam of about 42 feet. However, perhaps the scariest thing about this vessel is its unlimited range, as the vessel can launch an assault from its position anywhere in the world, but that isn't even all. Commissioned during the Cold War era in the early 1980s, the USS Ohio has adapted to the changing strategic landscape of the world, transitioning from its original nuclear deterrent role to becoming a more versatile multi-mission platform, showcasing its adaptability and sheer dominance. The vessel, however, wasn't always what it was today. In fact, the USS Ohio underwent significant conversions, requiring meticulous modifications and upgrades in order for it to fulfill its new roles. The converted Ohio-class SSGN is capable of carrying an impressive arsenal of up to 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles. These missiles aren't for show as these highly versatile and precise missiles can engage targets on land or at sea from a considerable distance, providing the submarine with robust strike capabilities. However, that is only part of it, as in addition to its strike capabilities, it has an endurance of approximately 60 days with food supplies and an operational depth of more than 809 feet. The USS Ohio, SSGN-726, possesses the unique ability to deploy up to 66 SEALs or other specialized personnel anywhere in the world. This dual capability enables the SSGNs to conduct a wide range of missions, including covert insertions, intelligence gathering, reconnaissance, and strategic operations. To push things even further, the submarine features a dedicated area to house and support the special equipment required for specialized operations. These spaces allow for the planning and executing of diverse clandestine missions and enhance their support for special operations forces. This simply means this vessel doesn't only insert the operatives, but is actively involved in the operation as it provides support for the operatives. This, by the way, is no issue for the vessel, as the primary armament of the Ohio-class SSGNs includes up to 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles, which are renowned for their precision strike capabilities, as they are capable of engaging targets at varying ranges on land or at sea with remarkable accuracy. If that's not scary enough, these vessels are equipped with four 21-inch bow torpedo tubes and 24 Trident 2C4 SLBM, each holding up to eight MIRV W-76 nuclear warheads. Armed with BQQ-6 bow-mounted sonar, BQR-19 navigation, BQS-13 active sonar, and the TB-16 towed array, the SSGN-726 is also one of the most stealthy vessels in the ocean. In fact, the vessel has undergone multiple modifications to reduce its acoustic signatures, enhance its ability to operate stealthily and evade detection by adversaries' sensor systems. The Ohio-class SSGN is also equipped with sophisticated command and control systems that allow seamless communication and coordination during operations. These systems enable effective mission planning and execution while ensuring operational security and efficiency. Despite all its intimidating technologies, the true power of the SSGN-726 lies in its capacity for multiple simultaneous missile launches, which provide tactical flexibility to conduct sustained strikes across vast distances. This feature also allows for swift and decisive action against a wide array of targets, thereby significantly impacting adversary infrastructure and military assets. With the motto, First and Finest, the USS Ohio, SSGN-726, operates with a crew of about 140 individuals that comprises highly skilled officers and enlisted personnel trained extensively to operate complex systems and execute diverse missions. Little is known about the USS Ohio's 
SSGN-726 passed missions. However, on June 28, 2010, Ohio was one of three Ohio-class submarines involved in a U.S. response to Chinese missile testing in the contested East China Sea. In this operation, Ohio, Michigan, and Florida all surfaced simultaneously in the waters of the Philippines, South Korea, and the British Indian Ocean Territory, respectively, acting as a deterrent to future aggression in the area as many feared their power. Sadly, in December 2020, it was announced that Ohio would be decommissioned and enter the ship submarine recycling program by 2026. But until then, this beast remains a threat to any enemy of the United States. No list would be complete without talking about the submarine of the future, and trust me, this one makes every other on the list look like a toy. Are you ready? The first of these military submarines are the Astute Class Submarines. These submarines are at the top of the class in the list of all the United Kingdom submarines. To start with, the Royal Navy's Astute Class Submarines are the first not to be fitted with traditional optical periscopes. Instead, they utilize high-specification video technology to scan the horizon. These submarines are also the quietest submarines ever constructed, can circumnavigate the globe completely submerged, and are capable of producing their own oxygen and drinking water, even though they can stay over 90 days underwater for any mission. The Royal Navy's Astute class is a family of nuclear-powered attack submarines designed to gradually replace the older Trafalgar-class nuclear submarines. While the initial order quantity was three, the United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense, MOD, later ordered an additional four vessels, increasing the Astute class to a total of seven submarines when complete. The performance specification of the Astute is an extension of the performance of the Trafalgar class batch 1 fleet of the Royal Navy's second submarine squadron, which is based at Devonport. HMS Audacious, the fourth Astute class submarine, completed North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO security patrols in the Mediterranean during its maiden operational deployment in June 2022. HMS Anson, the fifth ship in the class, was officially commissioned into the Royal Navy in August 2022. For its command and control systems, the Astute class submarines utilize the latest technology to dominate the water. The Astute Combat Management System, ACMS, is an evolved version of the Submarine Command System, SMCS, used on other Royal Navy submarines. Using sophisticated data processing and algorithms, this system takes in data from sonars and other sensors and presents it as real-time visuals on the command consoles. The platform management system on board the submarines controls and monitors the onboard systems. It consists of sensors, actuators, remote terminal units, and data processing that provides real-time information and diagnostics. For detecting enemy vessels, the Astute class is equipped with Sonar 2076, an integrated passive active search and attack sonar suite with bow, intercept, and towed arrays. The Astute class submarines are also equipped with the Tomahawk Block 4, tactical Tomahawk cruise missile from Raytheon, which is fired from 533 mm torpedo tubes, which allows the submarines to strike at ground targets hundreds of miles inland with pinpoint accuracy. The Tomahawk is equipped with the Terrain Contour Mapping Assisted Inertial Navigation System, TURCOM, for use over land, which combines onboard radar altimeter measurements with terrain mapping data installed in the missile. Block 2 added Digital Scene Matching Area Correlation Guidance, DSMAC. Block 3 enhancements include a better propulsion system and GPS guidance capability for the Navstar Satellite Location System. For accurate targeting, the GPS gives missile location and velocity data. With a maximum speed of 550 miles per hour, the Tomahawk can travel up to 1,000 miles in range. Battle damage indication, BDI imagery transfer, and missile reprogramming during flight are made possible by Block 4's two-way satellite link. This means it can be redirected at a new target mid-flight and can also beam back images of the battlefield to its mother sub. The Astute class submarines also have six 533 mm torpedo tubes and are equipped with spearfish torpedoes and mines. Each submarine has the capacity for a total of 36 torpedoes and missiles. The spearfish torpedo from BAE Systems is wire-guided with either an active or passive homing head. Its range is 65 kilometers at a speed of 60K. Spearfish is fitted with a directed energy warhead. Weighing nearly two tons, this heavyweight torpedo can attack targets up to 14 miles away, which can increase to 30 miles at low speed and is capable of blowing an enemy submarine clean out of the water. Guided by either copper wire or inbuilt sonar, the Spearfish delivers 660 pounds of explosive charge, either when it impacts with the intended target or via an acoustic proximity fuse underneath. 
for propulsion, the Astute class uses nuclear power provided by the Rolls-Royce Pressurized Water Reactor 2, PWR2. The Pressurized Water Reactor 2, PWR2, around which the design was developed, incorporates the Core H design, which will not require refueling for more than 25 years. This benefit should save future expenses and increase availability, although some of the early Astutes may have to be extended in service and refueling could be required if their submersible ship nuclear replacement SSNR replacements are not ready in time. The pressurized water reactors used in these submarines are an inherently safe design because the hotter the water used to cool the reactor becomes, the slower the nuclear fission reaction becomes, thus making it self-regulating. With the second-generation nuclear reactor developed for the Vanguard-class Trident submarines, this means that this latest development of pressurized water reactors would enable circumnavigation 40 times without refueling, unlike the previous generations that enabled submarines to circumnavigate the world approximately 20 times. For fuel, the Royal Navy uses highly enriched uranium, HEU, as fuel for its submarine reactors which results in very high power density. Due to the extremely sensitive nature of the subject, the power of Astute's reactor is classified, but estimates put it to be over 100 MW. All these features, its weapon systems, use of sonar, its choice of nuclear power, and its status as the quietest submarine ever built, have positioned the Astute class as key in all of British naval strategies. Whether on a spy mission, attack, or defense mission, these submarines can be expected to deliver well beyond expectations. All these, Coupled with the fact that they can stay underground for more than 90 days mean it is nearly impossible to detect these submarines as they go about their silent operations. As we resurface from the technological marvels of the Astute class, a new depth awaits with the Vanguard class, guardians of the deep armed with nuclear might. Stay with us to plunge into this unseen world. The A-26 Blekinge-class submarines developed by Kockums for the Swedish Navy are a groundbreaking leap in non-nuclear submarine technology. Representing the next generation of submarines, the A-26-class, also known as the Blekinge-class, is a testament to Sweden's innovative approach to naval warfare. The genesis of the A-26 project dates back to the early 1990s under the moniker U-BAT-2000, initially intended to be operational by the late 1990s or early 2000s. The project was put on hold with the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the consequent reduction in naval threats. However, the need for a modern replacement for the aging Sodermanland class became apparent by the mid-2000s, rekindling the A-26 project. The project's revival underscored Sweden's commitment to maintaining a formidable underwater force despite Denmark withdrawing from submarine operations. The A-26's development journey was marked by several challenges, including disagreements between Kockum's German owners, ThyssenKrupp, and the Swedish government. These disagreements culminated in the dramatic repossession of all equipment belonging to the Defense Materiel Administration, Sweden, including secret blueprints, under armed escort in 2014. Eventually, Saab acquired Kockum's, and the project resumed with the Swedish government placing an order for two A-26 submarines in 2015, slated for delivery by 2027-28. The design of the A-26 Bleaking class is an evolution of the Gotland class, offering significant improvements in capabilities and technology. These submarines, intended to displace 1,900 tons, are designed for a crew complement of 17 to 31 men. The A-26 Bleaking class submarines, a formidable addition to the Swedish Navy's fleet, are distinguished not only by their non-nuclear design, but also by their groundbreaking ghost, genuine holistic stealth technology. This advanced stealth technology makes the A-26 class one of the world's most elusive and hard-to-detect submarines, setting new standards in undersea warfare. The genuine holistic stealth technology in the A-26 class represents a holistic approach to submarine stealth design. It encompasses various aspects of submarine stealth such as acoustic signature reduction, hydrodynamic efficiency, and magnetic and electric field minimization. The primary goal of genuine holistic stealth technology is to make the submarine virtually invisible to enemy sensors, whether based on sonar, radar, or magnetic detection methods. One of the most intriguing aspects of the A-26 class is its modular design, which offers three variants, pelagic, oceanic, and oceanic, extended range. This flexibility enables the submarines to be tailored for various missions, from coastal operations to long-range blue-water missions, 
The submarines are also offered for export, equipped with vertical launch cells for Tomahawk cruise missiles, highlighting their versatility and combat effectiveness. The A-26 class represents a significant investment by the Swedish government and a strategic decision to maintain a potent undersea warfare capability. The order for two A-26 submarines has been a major boost for Saab Kakums, generating substantial employment and reaffirming Sweden's status as a leader in advanced submarine technology. As Sweden continues to evolve its naval capabilities with the A-26 Bleking class, one must ponder the broader implications of these advancements. With the A-26 set to become one of the most modern non-nuclear submarines, how will its introduction challenge traditional dynamics of undersea warfare, and what new benchmarks will it set for stealth and operational flexibility? Continuing with the exploration of the A-26 Blaking-class submarines, their introduction into the Swedish Navy marks a significant shift in the landscape of modern naval warfare. The A-26-class challenges conventional notions of undersea combat and sets new benchmarks for stealth, operational flexibility, and mission adaptability. Equipped with a Sterling Air Independent Propulsion AIP system, the A-26 submarines can stay submerged longer than conventional diesel-electric submarines. This AIP system is a significant technological leap, enabling the submarines to operate quietly without surfacing for air, thus enhancing their stealth capabilities. The extended underwater endurance of the A-26 class, combined with the genuine holistic stealth technology, makes these submarines particularly difficult to detect and track. Providing a strategic advantage in surveillance and covert operations, the A-26 Blickinge class is armed with an array of sophisticated weapon systems. They are equipped to carry torpedoes and can be fitted with vertical launch systems for Tomahawk cruise missiles. This capability gives them significant strike potential against sea and land targets, extending their role beyond traditional submarine tasks. The integration of these advanced weapon systems and the submarine's stealth features makes the A-26 a formidable threat in modern naval warfare. The advanced capabilities of the A-26 Blecking class have garnered international attention, positioning Sweden as a critical player in the global submarine market. The potential export of these submarines, especially to countries seeking non-nuclear yet highly capable underwater combat vessels, signifies Sweden's growing influence in international defense and naval technology. The commissioning of the A-26 submarines is strategically significant for Sweden. It demonstrates the country's commitment to maintaining a solid and modern maritime force capable of protecting its interests and contributing to regional stability. For North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, adding these advanced submarines to a member nation's fleet enhances the collective undersea warfare capabilities, especially encountering emerging threats in the Baltic and North Atlantic regions. In conclusion, the A-26 Blicking-class submarines represent a leap forward in non-nuclear submarine technology. Their stealth, flexibility, and advanced combat capabilities redefine the scope of undersea warfare and highlight Sweden's innovative approach to naval defense. Commissioned on October 23, 2004, the USS Virginia, SSN 774, is one of the most dangerous and technologically advanced members of the United States Virginia-class submarines. Being a member of this class of ultra-stylistic and state-of-the-art vessels marks a significant leap in United States submarine technology and capability as the class stands at the forefront of modern underwater vessels known for their adaptability and technological innovations. Designed to replace older Los Angeles-class submarines while offering superior capabilities in various operational domains, the Virginia-class submarines represent a new era of naval prowess, emphasizing enhanced stealth, agility, and versatility. The USS Virginia, SSN 774, is a nuclear-powered cruise missile attack submarine capable of running for around 25 years without requiring refueling of her nuclear reactors. The submarine uses nuclear reactors to generate power, enabling it to operate for extended periods without ever needing to dock and refuel. Capable of conducting extended missions, remaining deployed for months at a time, and operating continuously without the logistical challenges associated with refueling. The USS Virginia, SSN 774, stands as the lead ship of her class, currently serving in the United States Navy, USN. She is the tenth vessel of the Navy to be named for the Commonwealth of Virginia and the second U.S. Navy attack submarine to be named after a state, which is something we can see in all her classmates. However, even among her pairs, the USS Virginia, SSN 774, 
still stands out as a lethal masterpiece of underwater assault, and her features are sure to impress and scare anyone. The submarine, with a length of 377 feet, a beam of 34 feet, and a draft of 32 feet, has one S9 GPWR nuclear reactor that produces about 280,000 SHEP, or 210 MW. She also houses two steam turbines that produce 40,000 SHP, or 30 MW, a single-shaft pump jet propulsor, and a secondary propulsion motor. This all comes together to provide the vessel with a top speed of 25 knots, or 46 kmhr, as she operates with her 134 crew members at depths of more than 800 feet. Costing $29 billion, the vessel possesses one of the most advanced sonar capabilities the world has ever seen, with the ability to seamlessly and effectively detect and classify various underwater threats, including enemy vessels and potential hazards. The USS Virginia SSN-774 easily possesses the world's most state-of-the-art sonar systems, significantly enhancing its underwater detection and tracking capabilities. The state-of-the-art vessel also comes equipped with photonic masts, which serve to replace the conventional periscopes of other vessels. These technologically advanced masts use digital cameras and sensors to capture visual information outside the submarine, completely removing the need for the classic periscope. The mast also provides a more precise and comprehensive view of the vessel's surroundings while remaining virtually undetectable by adversaries due to its reduced profile and electromagnetic emissions. However, that's not all, as the vessel also boasts a modular design that allows for the seamless integration of new technologies and weapon systems, meaning the USS Virginia SSN-774 can practically be upgraded with much better and more efficient technology keeping her always at the forefront of technological advancements. But wait till you hear the weapons this fantastic vessel is equipped with. The USS Virginia, SSN-774, is is equipped with a diverse array of weaponry, including 12 VLS tubes, four 21-inch torpedo tubes for MK-48 torpedoes, and a BGM-109 Tomahawk. All these mean the vessel can launch precision strikes against land-based targets or enemy ships, engage and neutralize enemy submarines using torpedoes or other anti-submarine warfare weapons, and even engage surface ships using torpedoes, posing a threat to enemy naval vessels. However, the exact number of torpedoes and missiles carried by the USS Virginia, SSN-774, can vary based on its mission requirements, the specific configuration of the vessel, and the allocated space for weaponry and other systems on board. Playing a vital role in intelligence gathering and reconnaissance missions, the USS Virginia, SSN-774, is one of the United States' most dangerous submarines so much so that the mere presence of these submarines, especially those armed with nuclear-tipped missiles, serves as a powerful deterrent, contributing to national security and global stability. Sadly, specific details about past missions are typically classified. Still, these submarines have been involved in a wide range of missions, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, and support for special operations forces. They would mean hell for anyone on the other end of their destructive powers. The SSN-774 might be the beast of the modern day, but did you know there has been a vessel that has struck fear in the enemies of the U.S. since 1997? Can you guess what it is? Stick and find out.